Well, Land 8 tonight, new research shows alarming levels of cancer-causing chemicals found in fish swimming in the Columbia. Some of those fish possibly headed to dinner tables across the area. News Channel 8's environmental reporter Keely Chalmers went to the Columbia today to look into the problem. She's live in downtown Portland tonight. Keely? Well, Tracy, almost every weekend you'll find fishermen lined up along the Columbia Slough catching fish not just for fun but also for food. This new study reveals they could be eating fish full of toxins. For the last decade, Daniel Pop has been fishing at this spot along the Columbia Slough. What he catches here goes straight to his dinner table. Needless to say, he's eaten a lot of fish from these waters. Thousands. Today, it's catfish. Daniel says he likes coming here. It reminds him of the rivers he fished growing up in his native Romania. The fish taste like in my country, you know, muddy. But just recently, Daniel learned that fish may be toxic. A few months ago, Columbia Riverkeeper tested one of the sucker fish Daniel caught. The results surprised even the researchers. When I saw the PCB results, I mean, it was really alarming. The test showed the fish contained levels of cancer-causing PCBs 273 times higher than the EPA considers safe. They revealed arsenic levels in the fish more than 100 times the safe limit, and that wasn't all. The fish also had PBDEs, which are their toxic flame retardants, which can disrupt endocrine systems and affect reproductive systems in fish and in people. Chemicals that have been banned. But they're very persistent. They, they're, they're going to be here for a while to come. The DEQ tells News Channel 8 it has found similar levels of toxins in fish tested elsewhere along the Columbia, even the Willamette. We're working with companies to try to prevent new pollution sources and we're trying to uh, mitigate the hot spots for where the, the pollution still exists. But it admits it will take decades, if not longer, to bring down those toxic levels. You tell me this is not safe to eat. Disheartening news for Daniel, who after learning the test result says he'll be packing up his fishing pole and changing his ways. This is not just companies, it's me, it's anybody which put the chemicals in this water. Now, Columbia Riverkeeper says it also found, found high levels of toxins in fish uh, caught near Astoria as well as Cascade Locks. Now, we also learned that there is a fish advisory in effect for the Columbia Slough, but where we were, we did not find any signs warning fishermen about it. Back to you. Thanks, Keely. Mm -hmm.